Hello, Charlotte, we've got a gecko with us, haven't we? Yes. Gordon Gecko. <laughs> He's in there, isn't he? Yeah. And what kind of gecko is he? He's a toke gecko. Toke so the gecko. largest type you can get. Right, OK, brilliant. And um, he is able to walk up walls, isn't he? He is, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty amazing, isn't it? We've got a guest who can walk up walls, everybody. OK, so um, can we have a look? Would he have a go at that, do you think? Yeah, is he sure. going to be camera shy, right, or is he going to be...? Give him a go. Might be a bit noisy. Okay. Oh, there he goes. He looks a bit annoyed. <laughs> Is he a bit annoyed? He's all right. They, they do have a bit of a temper on them. Right. Is it because he hasn't eaten or something? Is he? Or he's no, been eating? He's, all right. he's been eating. <laughs> okay. Because I get a bit annoyed. <laughs> I mean, I just sort of short. Anyway. Um, Ready? Okay. There he is. Look at that. Now, how on earth does he do that? That is so brilliant. Well done. That is so amazing. Um, now, you hang on there. Will you be all right? If I, yeah, can we just leave him there? Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah? Yeah. Amazing. Isn't it amazing? All right, so let's think about how a gecko can do this. And Actually, I was thinking in my hotel room, and I was having a word with, with Hamish the hamster, and we came up with four possible explanations. I'm going to run them past you, and then we're going to do a vote, so you guys can run with me on this one. We thought that it may be that geckos have some sort of glue on their paws, right? A bit like a spider squirting out glue, and that's how they, they can walk up walls. So that is option number one for you to think about. Option number two is that they actually have nails. So, well, not nails, you know, but you know, something spiky, all right? And that's how they get up these walls. Oh, is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> I'm talking about you, Gekko. Yeah, yes. Ooh. Yes. Um, option number three is that, and this is my favourite, uh, that they have little these kind of suckers, suckers on them. You know, like the stuff you put onto bathrooms and things like that. Suckers? Impressed? Well, all right. <laughs> and option number four, they have some sort of weird hairs on them. Weird kind of hairs. I, we sort of run out of ideas, haven't we, by that point? Um, OK, weird hairs. So. Let's have a vote. Who thinks it is bits of glue, a bit like a spider squirting out glue? Anyone? Who votes for that? Ooh, no one. Mm. Who votes for the nails? Come on, that was quite a good idea. No? Who votes for suckers? Suckers! Yeah, maybe, maybe. I'm not giving anything away. All right. And who votes for the hairs? So, in fact, we're sort of equally split in this audience between hares and suckers. <laughs> Not often you get to say that, is it? Anyway, all right. So, um, Gordon, do you want to tell us how you do it? No, you don't. All right. Um, all right, so um, let's see how he does it. Let's actually have a look under the microscope. So what we did is we found a microscopic image of the pores of a gecko. And um, we've got it over here. And look. When you actually look underneath the microscope at these pores of, of, the, of the gecko, and this is really high magnification, you get this thing that looks a bit like sort of celery or kind of uh, rhubarb. Now if you zoom even further in, yes, look, hairs, actually hairs on the end of sort of hairs. So it's hairs on hairs at, is, is what this gecko's pores are under the microscope. So this gecko has hairy hands. However ludicrous that sounded, it is the truth.